talking deep fried turkey, Ben. I, can't I know, stop. I know. You can't stop. That's all I'm I doing. can't I stop. Breaks. I know. I'm just singing the praises. Hot tip for you guys: the Minnesota Farmers Market Association is making it really easy to shop local this holiday season. They're preparing for the first ever. North Loop Winter Market. Great. It's going to feature more than 100 local farmers and vendors that you just have to see all the, on the markets in the summertime, also in the wintertime. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so one of those vendors is Minneapolis-based chef Tony Muris Sherber, and he's here to make some charcuterie bites, and he brought some of the things that he'll, I'm sure, have for sale at the market. Hi, Tony. Welcome Hi. back. Good to you got see you. Yeah. We're happy that you're here, and you, you got married. You're telling us about all these wonderful things <laughs> happening. A lot of exciting things have been happening in my life since the last time I was here, but yeah. Yes, we are excited to share a lot of great treats for you guys today, especially this uh, sweet and spicy charcuterie board bite. Oh my gosh, well, yeah. so what, good. What's the inspiration behind this, this little nugget over you here? You know, people have always asked me, well, how can I use this dish right here? So this right here is our award-winning Minnesota 7 hot chili oil. So typically it's used for Asian dishes. Yeah. But for here in Minnesota, not very many familiarity with that. So I always try to think of what other ways can people utilize it for? Pizza fried eggs in the morning, but charcuterie boards is something that people would just gravitate towards too. Uh, so this is something that I've really thought that would be a sweet and heat type of bite. Okay, so. we tried this last time you were here, mm -hmm. and it's the hot chili oil is so good because it's like a, it's not just straight hot it's like a complexity of flavor mm -hmm. like explain that mm -hmm. to people. yeah so it's infused with garlic and shallots aromatics like star anise ginger and cinnamon so yeah you're right you got waves of heat flavor to kind of go with it but it's not necessarily something that's going to knock your socks off yeah so. i think just like throw it on a rice bowl and call it <laughs> exactly right <laughs> I, mean, yep. you know, I know i, know what yep. to tell I you. think the last time we were talking I'm like okay i'll do this with my 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 rice bowl with eggs and the hot sauce yeah. like that's all i yeah. really need but so. you're right having the complexity of flavor with hot sauces i like I like trying hot sauces, you know, when I go out and you see like maybe mm -hmm. at the airport or something like that, you want to get like a little gift home, they yeah. get the hot sauce. Sometimes they're just way too hot for mm -hmm. the sake of being hot. I know when they say, when it says the two words Carolina Reaper, I'm like, peace out. This, yeah. is, this is too much. Yeah. Okay, so what is, what's the combo here? Because it looks like you've got the heat, the mm -hmm. sweet, and a little creamy. Yep, exactly, right? So we have a lot of things that kind of go well together. So like you said, we have a bread to kind of be the vessel for everything. Okay. We've got a goat cheese with a little bit of tang right there, mm. or you can use like a soft brie cheese. Uh, and then we've got a drizzle of honey and our award-winning hot chili oil right there. Oh. So what I've already done right here, we've already kind of toasted some of our bread right here mm -hmm. with some of our garlic and shallot oil jeon mat, which is Korean for delicious. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys one of each of these. And okay. Jeon mat. That's yep, what it is. Jeon mat. Yep. And then uh, we also have our jimi, which is spice in Korean. But you guys can go ahead and spread some of that goat cheese on there. You we can go as start little. saying jeon mat every time we Jonmat. like something yeah. here. Yeah. Yep, so you guys can go as little as much as you want. That's the beauty of these types of dishes. That's a oh, lot well, for my know, preference. We, but we both <laughs> like a lot of goat cheese. So does my wife, but you know what? I'm more on the lighter side of the goat cheese, like a thin layer, but you know what? Ooh. Teach their own. This yeah. is this is might be because of your Korean heritage. And maybe, and maybe so. And then if you so. are more, you know, Scandinavian, you're like, bring on the dairy. Exactly, <laughs> right. Well, then what we're going to do next is you guys can take some of this chili oil right here. We can kind of... Shake it up, stir it up right here. Do you like, that's what people want to do. They so yeah, the oil's level? gonna have a lot more flavor. The heat's gonna be more in the flakes. So if you want to get more of that heat, by all means, dig it up like a shovel, or you can kind of get more of that <laughs> flavor and just drizzle some of that you oil know me, on top. I like the heat. Yeah, yeah. Like, get, get down get in there. After there it. you go, okay. yep. That might have been aggressive. I know, but, I was going to say, know, you sure you want to do that? Yep. I got to impress that's okay. Tony. I yeah, can't, no. you know. But if you do end up having a little more flakes than you want, you can counteract that by adding a little more honey. Yeah. Having a little more sweetness to kind of counteract that heat makes that perfect bite for you. Oh, my gosh. This is really and I'm, I'm assuming. I'm assuming even though this is not just like cow's milk, the dairy, the dairy aspect has a certain amount of like heat cutting element. Cooling, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, exactly, right? It kind of cuts. The fat kind of cuts into the heat, but also the sweetness does too. Because yeah. when you think of all those things that kind of makes us crave things, that's salt, fat, acid, and heat. So yeah. those are three right, of those cheers. things. Cheers. All right, we're getting after it. There you uh -huh. go. Uh-huh. Oh, gosh, Tony. Oh, I'm getting honey everywhere. I know, I love it so much. <laughs> oh, now the heat comes. Mm. Oh, gosh, Tony, that is so good. Boy, that's Thank like you. very addictive. Thank you. I appreciate I mean, that. So good. Okay, so explain all the other flavors because everybody can get these at this mm -hmm. market. Yeah. In the North Loop, and I'm so happy that you're doing this. Mm -hmm. these, these flavors are delicious. Yeah, so on December 16th, I'll be at the North Loop Farmers Market. That's going to be hosted by the MFMA. Uh, so we have our award winning hot chili oils right here. So the Minnesota 7 and the Minnesota 9 hot oh. chili oils. We have a Korean barbecue spice blend and a garlic and shallot oil. So just a fun, quick story about the Minnesota 7 right here. Yeah. Uh, this is what started it all as a, pan a pandemic project during the COVID. Yep. Uh, but people always ask me, well, well, how hot is it on a scale of 1 to 10? Well, as a joke, I always said, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's a Minnesota 7. So <laughs> It's a four, but for everyone else that's from Minnesota, it's a seven. 
Oh my gosh. So, well, I, I like how you ad- you adapt. Exactly. That, it's sure. my sales pitch for sure. Uh, but everyone definitely uh, identifies with some sort of heat level, and they really love the flavor of these things. It's so delicious. Mm. And listen, I think it's the perfect level of heat. And I went heavy on the spice. You definitely did, but you definitely got the right amount. Of oh, it. it's so good. Yeah, but you also went really heavy on on the cheese yeah, too. Yeah, I know. That's because I, I make yeah, wise it was, choices. It was a, it was a good ratio of, <laughs> yeah. of heat exactly. and cheese. Yeah. Perfect oh my gosh, balance. Tony, we love seeing your success. You have to come see. You can't let it be a year. Yeah. Before you More come see you. us again, yeah. this has been, it's inappropriate. It's not how a friendship should work. No, not at all. Yeah, you got to come back with another, like, I don't know if it's a charcuterie thing or whatever. Like, let's, and you know what? Next time, let's blow the doors off. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, like, let's what you it. think is hot. Let's go Korean tent. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, let's do that because we think that we can handle the heat. I can't handle right. that. I can handle a Minnesota tent. A Korean tent would probably kill me, Oof. but I would be down for a little taste. Everybody, pick these up for your holiday mm-hmm. gifts. You will not regret it. For the foodie, your life get after yeah. it thanks yeah. tony thanks so much all right you can find tony and more of the 100 local vendors at the north loop winter market in minneapolis on saturday december 16th we posted more information on twincieslive.com we'll be back everybody <laughs>